What's going on, beautiful people? D'Lo Brands back for another video. And today we are diving into the world of anything LLM. I did not know that this thing even existed and it is making some bold claims on their website. I'm about to show y'all right now. Okay, so right here, we are on anythingllm.com and they're saying that this is the all-in-one AI application. I found this somewhere else that they also said this is an all-in-one application. So they're saying chat with documents, use AI agents and more fully locally and offline. We love that. We love fully locally and offline. Make sure you check out the last video, which was Trey, Trey AI, which is also locally offline. So no setup, tons of features. So run your preferred LLM locally in a click or connects you to your local or cloud LLM engine, simple interface, open source. Okay. Anything LLM is open source and free to use and MIT licensed. Okay. Okay. A customizable multi model modal built in developer API ecosystem, privacy focus. I think we should check this out. I think we should check this out. So they're saying download for desktop for your entire team, self-hosted and cloud, multi-user, admin control, white labeled. Wow, this is actually pretty crazy. Let me look through this really quick. Okay, so it's $50 a month for the team, but it doesn't have any prices anywhere else. So download for desktop, we have Apple Silicon, silicone silicon and so i'm gonna be back once i have this installed okay so this is anything lm we just downloaded it we're gonna click get started lm llm preference okay i'm gonna say my preference honestly right now my preference is truly gemini it is truly gemini but i would like to even you know check out some other stuff so i'm gonna say i'm gonna say gemini though and Okay, so if I use this, then I have a bunch of llama versions. Honestly, I wouldn't be mad using like a Gemma 3. I wouldn't be mad using like a, a Gemma 3. 8.1 gigabytes. It's a pretty large one. Or maybe we can do a deep seek. Let's do it. Well, I want to do a multimodal one, honestly. Let's just use regular Gemma, Gemma 3 1B. You know I'm saying let's use that and let's click next we'll download in the background you can check its progress okay cool vector database your vectors and document text are stored privately on this instance your document text is embedded privately on this instance your chats model and document text are only accessible on this machine okay okay i like that let me put in my details don't look okay so we have created a workspace and this is a really nice interface. I have to say, anything LLM has really done well with their branding and their effort in user interface and user experience. I really like it. So we have a few options here. Customize, custom AI agent slash command system prompts. So I guess we can just start talking. I'm guessing this is, this is really, okay, give me five business ideas to create with a vibe coding platform is basically just local ai basically just local ai and we're gonna try out the ai agent mode or whatever that was and let's see these options down here so support anything llm's development anything L help docs join the discord open the settings very clean interface, I have to say. Very, very clean interface. Okay, here are five business ideas leveraging. It took six, almost seven seconds to do that. Mood based content creation kits, collaborative mood boards, interactive storytelling experiences, personalized soundscape and ambient music, vibe driven driven social media templates. So I wonder I wonder if this has connections. So can we connect this to MCPs at all? Let me see. How do I go go out of this? I want to let's press. OK, uh, you can embed a document, send a chat. Let's chat using. Oh, build an agent flow. OK, MC, MCP support, support and leverage MCP tools using L, uh, anything LLM. OK, 
So we're just going to have to use commands to get those things done. But build powerful AI agents and automations with no code. So let's just see the flow. Flow information, flow name, flow variables, flow complete. Man, honestly, okay, okay. So what you can put here is basically a webhook or an, an endpoint or basically make things happen with the builder here. So it can run a system of commands in order for you to get things done. Now, this isn't too, too easy to do. I will say it's a lot of technicalities in building out automations like this. Uh, you got to know how to do all of this stuff. You got to know what Git post delete is, you know, stuff like that. You got to know the right variables to put in MCP servers, community hub, explore trending calendar event okay so we have kind of like an explore page of agent skills and system prompts your task is to act as an expert technical advisor to the user who will be asking you questions seo tool advisor wow so this is really cool you don't have to start completely from scratch you can just go inside of the community hub and look at all of these agent skills and so they have an even bigger community hub now I need to change windows again. Where is this at? Just a moment. Okay. So you have all of these agent skills. It doesn't look like it's too, too many people building on it. But I mean, the biggest one that's been downloaded the most is 16.1K, which is a calendar event. A plugin to generate calendar event links for Google and Outlook. Cool. I'll open Slack app, my agent school, search tool. Okay. Find nearby businesses, hello world, save file to location, Gmail draft, BBC news feed. So people are giving you like samples and you can look at tons of system prompts. I mean, a lawyer, DIY ideator, relentless upseller bot, meeting minutes summarizer, output to prompt. And I wonder, so let's let's go back into anything LLM. So let's let's go in here and let's just try one of these just to see what it what it's like. Let's do the the plot twist generator. Let's import this. So we review review system prompt create twist blah blah blah. Okay, put it in this workspace, apply system prompt. Okay, it's been imported. So let's go back home. We're now in here. So we go at agent okay so how do we get to how do we get to our drag search web scraping web browsing so this can do web browsing find me five local atlanta real estate agents agent invoked swapping over to agent chat but how do we find the so we just imported a a line of code basically is that in the settings is it in the chat settings yes okay so that that makes sense whenever we do that we are going to basically be creating a, a gpt and, and training it in a sense so we would create different workspaces based on what we want to do and in that workspace different threads for you know different sessions are doing it not different sessions but maybe maybe i have one client that wants captions and then another client that wants captions as well as well but my workspace is trained on the way to create captions okay now that makes sense that makes sense that makes sense so let's go back to our thread it came back and gave us all of these things cool so so i late 2023 and early 2024 okay cool that's not that's not bad at all I think that something like this can be really cool in ideating. I'm not sure. And, and probably, you know, I'm pretty sure they have Cloud 3.7 and Gemini 2.5 Pro coming soon or something like that. But I can definitely see you being able to code inside of this thing, not with a preview, not kind of like vibe coding, but clearing up code, cleaning up code and, and stuff like that. So... So we, we definitely have a lot to choose from that are free. We got some stuff from from Microsoft. I heard about Phi 4 or Pi 4. I, I heard about this. 
somewhere. We should definitely try that one out. But I want to I want to look at all of these. So Anthropic, of course, they have Claude. So you can come in here, use Claude. I'm definitely going to come in here, use some Gemini. It's local. So that's the that's the other difference. Like your stuff isn't getting trained. Your data is not being used in training like this. And so Novita AI, reliable, scalable, and cost effective for LLMs. LM Studio. Okay. So they got perplexity. They got they have pretty much links to everything. And it is going to allow you to use use them all. And you can use the agent to get things done, I'm pretty sure. And MCPs to get even more things done. Agent skills, MCP servers. Let me see. Let's let's look at the documentation on MCPs really quick. There are many tools that exist already built with mcp in mind and anything can work with any of them mcp x anything llm docker mcp x anything llm desktop okay by editing the llm mcp servers the same configuration ui example configuration file face generator mcp youtube let me see this as always never mind you do not trust automatically start mcp servers when you open the agent skills page invoke the agent directive okay so how do we connect one so so we just connect one how do i add slash remove an mcp server here we are adding an mcp mcp server is simple as adding a new tool to the mcp servers object in the file in your storage directory okay so we just have to know how to input them into the directory and we can connect mcp servers to our lm and you guys could not see that at all that is so sad okay well we are not going to do mcp servers today we did walk through okay now this is very beautiful right here rag and long-term memory holy bro imagine you have an ai agent that can actually recall things and it's local and it's all your data wow wow View and summarize documents, scrape websites on, and that's the agent skills. That's the agent skills. Generate and save files to browser. Generate charts, web search, SQL connector. We're definitely gonna do another video on this. I don't want this to get too long. I just wanted to introduce this and, and try it out for the first time with you guys. But I mean, it's auto speak responses, auto speak responses auto submit speech input after a period of silence so we have speech input too bam i want to come up with a new way of gardening my tropical plants can you help me audio recording was blank maybe i don't have the right the right one selected but you guys get the point so you can talk to it let me just test this out okay give me five tips for agent give me five tips for a tropical plant gardening so it didn't speak it i can't hear anything yeah i can't hear anything voice and speech local whisper runs a whisper model locally on device text to speech system native so you can change the voice whisper okay cool we're we're gonna do a, a larger video exploring more of this but if you did learn something today make sure to like comment and subscribe i would definitely check out anything else i'm definitely gonna be on this for more general tasks maybe not things that i am you know working hard hard on but i'll come in here if i want to ask a private question or i want to ask it to deal with some private data i'll come to any anything and, and definitely use it for that but make sure you are learning ai every single day and this has been dlo brands and i'll see you in the next one peace